Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the Rumple One, wearing my Barack Obama T-shirt. He's got to go. We need to get rid of him. But I want to talk about a solution today. You see, as I mentioned in the other video, only one out of three voters who were eligible to vote had participated. I think part of that problem is, is because they're not educated. Some people go, you know, I, I don't know about the issues, so I, I, don't, I don't vote. I don't, I, I'm not well versed in the issues. I'm not educated enough. And you see, that therein lies the problem. Because I bet you if you ask these same people, you know, who won the World Series, you know, who's in the NASCAR chase, um, you know, who's leading in the NFL, you know, if they know, they might know something about Paris Hilton or Justin Bieber or Minaj or whatever, was it Mickey Minaj or whatever her name is, or uh, J-Lo or Ben or, or Angelina, Bragelina, whatever that is. He's, in other words, their focus is on entertainment rather than education. I mean, I can understand. You know, you, work, you, get, you get up. You go to work, you work hard, especially if you're working with your hands. You come home, you're tired. Get something to eat. You're beat. All you want to do is just kick back, maybe open up a cold one, put your feet up, and watch TV. You're tired. Come the weekend, probably want to have some fun, maybe get in your truck, go four-wheeling, go camping, go hunting, fishing, maybe take in a movie or a show, maybe go to the ball game, maybe play some ball, go swimming, surfing, go out to eat, maybe have a barbecue. You just want to relax, you know, you already busted your hump for five days, 40 hours or more, you just want to relax. But you see, if that's your lifestyle and not putting you down. I'm just calling it the way it is. Where's the education? See, a long time ago, I realized that there's just so much stuff. I, I can never really keep up, but I can slow the rate that I fall behind by staying educated. Reading. You know, you see these guys playing video games. I don't really think that's educational. I could be wrong, but, you know, it was Death Race, and I don't even know all the names of them. Minecraft, I just don't see, see how that is informative, educational. Does it teach you any skills like woodworking, or metalworking, or leatherworking, or cooking? I don't think so. But you see, the problem is, is that society now puts more value on entertainment than it does education. And the system, they're, they're happy to accommodate you. They'll take your money and with a smile. They don't care if you're dumbed down. They like it that way. Makes it easy for them to sell to you. There's less people they have to worry about challenging them for control. You know, if you get involved in the courts, well, hey, if you're smart enough, you don't need a lawyer. They don't want you to be smart. They don't want you to learn civil procedure or criminal procedure or court procedures. They don't want you to know about things like that. They want you to be dumbed down. They don't want you on the jury if you know about jury nullification. No way. They like you to be uneducated, or ill-educated, or poorly educated. It works for them. But it doesn't work for you. I mean, I, I see these 30-year-old guys, and they got no, they have no clue. They have no drive. They have no direction. They sit around playing video games. 30 year old guys. It's like time to put away your toys young man and 
start doing things that men do. You know, I, I did the video, Men, Boys, Internet. See, that's just a problem. You know, fathers aren't teaching the sons. They're not passing them down. They're not instructing them. Because it's so much easier just to sit back and be entertained. I mean, look at the YouTube videos that have millions of views. Almost all of them are entertaining in some way, shape, or form. Even if it's some news event, it's only because it's entertaining. It has some type of shock value. You know, I think that was back in the 80s or 90s, the shock jocks. That was kind of, that was the thing. But nowadays, you know, everything is sound bites, quick, because, you know, the people who are in their 20s and 30s and possibly even 40s, they have the attention span of a gnat. <laughs> I mean, if you can't get your message across in about 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, phew, you've lost them. I mean... And you look at what's popular on Facebook or what's trending on Yahoo. I mean, it's just that education is not valued by most people here in this country anymore. It's not something an educated person really isn't looked up to. It's some people aren't aspiring. They're not teaching their kids to aspire to be educated. See, it all comes back, all comes right back to home. I, you know, I was fortunate. You know, my parents inspired me. My grandparents inspired me to be educated and get good grades, learn something. But nowadays, schools. It's just kind of like mandatory daycare. You got this common core crap. You know, you, you got, at least in California, there's that one guy who was uh, fighting, taking, took it to court where we got to be able to fire and get rid of bad teachers. You know, get this tenure crap out of the way. Pay people based on results, not based on longevity. I mean, really, if you're, you know, if you're in a in a company, or if you own a company, and you got some guy who's been there for ten years, and some new kid comes along, and the two new kid is more valuable than the old guy, and you got to pay the new kid more. Yeah, hey, the old guy might have been around for ten years, but hey, you know what? If he ain't producing, if he ain't up to snuff, um, he could be gold bricking it. Yeah, I think I mentioned that somewhere before where you know if you've got some if, if you're a company and say you you got three people now let's just say everything's equal except for one thing you got one guy he does a job and he does an okay job but sometimes he slacks just a little bit you got this other guy he's a superstar He's always ahead of schedule. When you got this other guy, he's struggling, but he's always working hard. You never, ever catch him, like, you know, goofing off. But he struggles. But, you know, most of the time he's okay, but every now and then he struggles. And then every now and then he shows, you know, a flash of brilliance. I mean, which guy, if you had to lay one guy off, which guy would you pick? You know, me, the gold bricker, because he could influence this other guy. He, he's bad for business. He's not busting his hump. And I want somebody who's a star and bust their hump. Because if somebody lays off, it pollutes the whole atmosphere. What's that got to do with education? It's called pride. It's called work. Work ethic. Work habits. Something else that's just not taught. You see, if you let your kids slack in school, you don't teach them to do their homework, do it on time, complete the assignments, go to school, show up, pay attention, you get what we got. You get two-thirds of the people not showing up at the polls to vote. 
you got people not realizing when the wool's being pulled over their eyes. See, I know for the most part I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> I think somebody said, yeah, but the, the choir sometimes needs to know, uh, you know, where to look in the hymn book or something like that. What song to sing. See, education's all, I've always been big on it. It's always been on top of my list. It's the only thing that cures ignorance. Think about it. So you see, my fellow Americans, it's a sad showing at the polls when only one out of three voters turn out. But it's, and I think part of the problem is, is because we value entertainment more than we do education. You know, people who pay, some people who pay attention to politics, it's only because of the juicy st stories, you know, the, the dirt, the political dirt that, you know, they can turn up about, you know, what some guy did behind closed doors or cheating or all that kind of stuff. That's, that's what gets people excited or paying attention to politics. Not the real deal, you know, not the things that matter, like taxes, freedom, liberty, fairness, justice. You know, politicians, they're only looking out for themselves and their friends, people who contribute. I mean, if you contribute $100,000, they'll probably talk to you. If you don't contribute at all, then no, you can't talk. You can't see the senator or congressman. It's just wrong. You know it. I know it. And that's why, my fellow Americans, you need to wake up. And smell the tearing.